네, 저는 오늘 기타를 사러 왔습니다. Let's start acoustic times. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we're switched again. Yes. Okay, okay we're going to do we're going to do a little thing called find your fit. Yeah. Yeah. Does that find sound weird? Uh, what do you think what do you think of when when I say that? Find your fit. What, yeah, what do you, what do you think of? It's like it's like I'm buying a clothes hmm. uh, like okay. that. Uh, okay, yeah. It's not it's that kind of, weird. It's kind of similar. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like similar. So we, for a long time at Taylor Guitars, we've had a saying uh, that we call find your fit. Hmm. And we use that because everybody hears differently. Hmm. Everybody plays differently. Everybody wants different sounds from their guitar. Yeah. And one of the most important things when you're investing money in an expensive guitar hmm. is you got to get one that works for you. Mm. Don't you don't have to listen to your friends all the time. Yeah, <laughs> right? I mean, right. friends can give good advice, mm. of course, right? Mm. But it's not their guitar. Yeah, friends are friends, and they have to mm. they have to wear the clothes. Mm. You have to wear the clothes that you yeah. decide, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's the same kind of thing. So we have we have a little formula. We think that there are three main things mm. that make up the sound of a guitar. Okay, one of them is the body shape. Yeah, one of them is the tone woods. Mm. And what do you, what is the third thing? What would you think the third thing might be? Mm, body shape and toners. What's the third main component that would make up the sound of a guitar besides body shape and tone woods? Bracing? Yeah. That's a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> mm. There's something that's more important though. Price? Uh the player. <laughs> the player. <laughs> yeah. Right? I forgot the most important thing. Right. Uh, right. Because um, if I pl if I played one of these guitars, mm. it might sound completely different in your hands. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's so, right. So so we we th when we talk about find your fit, we talk mm. about those three things. Mm. Hi. Hello. Yeah. How you doing? Mm. I'm come to buy a guitar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what guitar can I buy? Would you recommend something? Well, there's there's a few things I'd like to show you, but I'd I'd first I'd like to learn a little bit about you as a player. Okay. So. Um, do you have you been playing for a long time? Mm, yeah, about twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Oh, so how, do you have a lot of guitars already? About five guitars. Five guitars. Five acoustic guitars. Yeah. Do you play electric guitar? Yeah. Okay, so you play electric and acoustic. Yeah. Acoustic and, and uh, classic. And, oh, classical guitar. Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah. did you study classical? All guitar? kinds of yeah, all kinds oh, of guitars. Okay, so you learn you know how to read. Yeah. Okay. So some of them are nylon string guitars that you have. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, what what kind of electric guitars do you have? Hmm. And the recording session style guitar, uh, uh, Anderson. Oh, Anderson, oh, yeah, nice. Anderson nice Schechter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Strat. Cool. Yeah. And you, all purpose. So you have amplifiers too. Uh just a hard recording. Okay. Uh, okay. Home recording. Home recording. Direct. Home recording. Yeah. Uh, okay. I've got that quad cortex. Ah. Uh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, do you play live shows with acoustic? Just, just recording. Just, yeah. Your acoustic stuff is just yeah. recording too. Yeah. So you don't really you don't play live house, or, yeah. or do you play at church or anything like that? No. Yeah, you do. Just producer, producer in home. Yeah. Okay, just so you're mainly your your stuff is at home that you use yeah. your guitars for recording. Yeah. Okay. And what do you have a favorite style of music? Mm. Pop music. Pop music. Yeah. Okay. Me too. Mm. <laughs> You've been playing for a long time, right? Yeah. So do you? Is there a kind of sound that you really prefer, or is there a sound that? You don't have in your collection yet mm, that yeah. you'd, you'd like to add. Hmm. I want to add O M, like yeah, O M body sound. Like yeah. okay, like a so not not a not a bigger guitar. Right? Yeah, uh, because okay. I I have only I I have one D forty five. Okay, and Martin. Okay, yeah, cool. So you got big, a, you yeah. got a dreadnought sound. Yeah, covered. dreadnought sound. Yeah. Okay, cool. Things. By asking those kinds of questions, which you can ask yourself, you can try to help help figure out which is the right guitar for you. Mm. Now, what I would do. What I'm going to do here, since you came to my little shop, I have four guitars in my shop. Mm. It's a very small shop, but yeah. I have a nice guitar. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you, mm. I'm going to start by just explaining the differences in body sizes mm. that Taylor Guitars makes. Yeah. And the, the, the shape that we always start with is called a GA. Yeah. It's a Grand Auditorium. Mm. So the Grand Auditorium is the most popular body shape that Taylor makes. Um, any guitar that ends with a number four. Mm is a grand auditorium. Yeah. And then we have different series. We have 214, 314, 414, all the way up to 914. Mm. This is a 414. So this is a rosewood back and sides mm. guitar. And this is a spruce top. 
And if you remember, at the beginning, I told you that there are three things that make yep. up the sound of the guitar. So, so for now, for today's little um, visit to the store here, we're going to eliminate tone woods because they're all the same. All these four guitars are rosewood, yep. back and side, spruce guitars. Mm. So what we're really focusing on is the body size. Yeah. And do you, when you work in your studio, when you record, do you flat pick or do you finger pick or both or? Both. You do both. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start by showing you the size, the sound of the of the GA because mm-hmm. the Grand Auditorium is a guitar that does a lot of different styles yeah. well. You know, like your your D45 is kind of known as a flat picking guitar. Mm. It's a dreadnought. It's got a real powerful yeah. low end kind of sound, right? This guitar, I would say, is a little bit more balanced mm. from low to highs. And I'm going to start with the sound of this guitar, and I want you to play a little bit. And then I'm going to show you another guitar and see what you think. Okay. So you can use a pick or a fingers or whatever you want to do. something interesting okay. play that exact same finger style that you just played on this guitar oh. so so this is these are the same materials same player mm. the only thing that's changed is the body size mm. and what I heard and I, you had a reaction too, mm. but the guitar was almost louder. Yeah, right. So that blows a lot of people's minds mm. because, well, how could that be? It's a smaller guitar. How, how could that be? Well, the reason is because a smaller guitar takes less energy to move the strings and to get air moving out of the guitar. Mm. So when you have a light touch like that, sometimes you actually get more volume mm. from a smaller body. Because it doesn't take as much energy to get the guitar moving and vibrating. Mm. So that's something to consider. So, for instance, like that, that is different than the guitar, the 45 that you already have. That's yeah. a, kind of a different reaction mm. from the guitar, right? So, this is what's called a GC, a Grand Concert yeah, Guitar. Grand concert. And a Grand Concert Guitar is a smaller body than the GA. And um, it's very comfortable to play. It has a shorter scale length, mm. so the distance between the nut and mm. the saddle on that guitar is just a little bit shorter. Mm-hmm. So there's less tension on the strings as well. And on a GC guitar, um, it's a really, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's good for bending and also great for finger style, great mm. for chord melody. Yeah. Because it's, you don't have to fight, you don't have to fight to get the melody to jump out mm. that you're trying to play. Naturally. Yeah, because jump ba- out. Yeah, it naturally jumps out yeah. because the bass notes aren't covering it up. Mm. It's really good for a piano. Yeah, right. It's very close to guitar what I found. Okay. Mm. So, let's go the other direction. Okay. Okay. So this is called a GP. This is a Grand Pacific, and you can see if you hold the two next to one another. Um, GP. This is the GP is a bigger guitar. Um, not only in in the the size of the front of the guitar, but also the depth and the overall the overall body size. Mm. So give that give that a little. It's heavy. It's a little bit heavier. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. tell the, the bass notes jump out a little bit yeah. more than that. And, and maybe maybe that's fine. Maybe that maybe that's what you like. And that's part of find your fit. Yeah. Like you you shouldn't really my job is not to tell you what to like. My job is to give you an experience. Yeah. And let you let your ears decide what you think is best for you. This is familiar for me because mm, it's, it's right. like 
D yeah. D forty five. Yeah, yeah, this right. physical thing. Yeah, right. it's a physical thing. Uh, it's it's close to the size mm. of forty five. Mm. It's the same materials too. Mm. So but yeah, this, this sounds good, but it is. I don't need this type of guitar now because you already yeah. have it. Yeah, yeah, right. Already have one. Right. Yeah. Okay. So so I would think the same thing. I, and like I said before, if you're if you're mainly a studio uh, recordist. Mm. Um, one of the things that the GA is, and also the GC mm. are really known for is they're really easy t to put a microphone on mm. uh, and record with. Um, you can, you can, you know, most of the time when you, we, today when we were, you, you see the engineer has it a little bit off sound hole. It's not in front of the sound hole, right? Yeah. yeah. Normally he was, at, earlier he was oh, aiming for like no. the 12th fret, mm. which is a really common spot for microphones to be placed yeah. at. But even these guitars, like if you, even if you put this, GA in front, like right in front of the sound hole. It's not gonna, it, yeah. It will go the same distance, but just, yeah, go ahead and play. I'll move it. Okay. Even, even this is not gonna, it's not gonna be too heavy. Now, if you do, if you do that on a really big bass heavy guitar, it'll be, yeah. it'll be, uh, it won't work. So that's part of, That's part of what GAs are really known for, is that they're mm. very even and very balanced, and they work with finger style and mm. picking really mm. well. And that's why they're so popular mm. for lots of people. Now, one of the newest things that, that we have at Taylor Guitars is a shape um, that is all new, and this is called a GT. GT, Grand, Grand Theater. Grand Theater, yeah. Right. Mm. sound is bigger than I expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the GT is a new design mm -hmm. and it's actually got a different bracing pattern mm -hmm. in it that's called C-Class. Mm -hmm. And the C-Class bracing is designed to get the most low end response mm -hmm. possible out of a smaller body. Yeah. Now, what you might have noticed about this guitar also is that this is, this is, it's, it's smaller than the GC. And actually the scale length, the distance between the nut and the saddle is shorter on that guitar, mm. right? Just by a little bit, less than a half, about a mm. half an inch. So the tension on that guitar is really light. It's a really easy guitar mm. to play. Right? Yeah, it's you really can, easy. It's yeah, really easy yeah. to play, right? Um, it's probably like of everything I've shown you today, it's the furthest away from your D45. Yeah. As far as a guitar yeah, sound, even right. though it's the same materials, mm. it's it's completely different. Yeah, that's right. So a GT is also a great guitar for somebody to record with because it's not going to take up a whole lot of space. Mm. Much in the same way as a, a grand concert yeah. doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Mm. It's focused. Yeah. And when you're trying to put together mm. a kick drum, mm. an electric guitar, and a and a bass yeah. guitar, and the left hand of a keyboard, yeah. you don't need anything mm. in the low end. Mm. That is the sound I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't need that because all those other instruments. Mm. If you're if you're putting together, a, like you said, a pop tune. Yeah. Right. If you're putting together a pop tune, all those elements already exist. The synthesizers, yeah. the, the kick, the bass guitar. That's right. You don't need a guitar below 100 hertz. Mm. Yeah. In, in your recording. In fact, mm. most engineers, if you go to play a live gig, they're going to cut that out right away. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's only rumble. Only I need is about 400 hertz. Right. So you, it, it's good. It's yeah. good that you understand yeah, that because um, the things that sometimes the things that make the guitar feel mm. really good when you're sitting at home on your couch, your chair, are not musical in the end of, of a recording. Yeah. Mm. So so really, this is this is find your fit. Mm. And, and perhaps perhaps that that really bass heavy sound is 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 what you like. But but mm. we think of it. We want to have people know the differences that 
A G A is a very even and balanced guitar mm. sound, good for many styles. A G C is the shorter scale version of this of a similar guitar with a little bit more focus. Mm. Great for finger style playing. Um, a Grand Pacific mm. is a good is a good guitar if you want to drive it a mm. little harder. If you want to hit it a little harder, it'll get louder. Mm. Um, and it's a bigger body, obviously. And the G T is sort of a new compact yep. sort of size that mm. is very comfortable for a lot of people to play. Mm. Um, especially if you're a smaller person. Mm. And so, of these four, which one do you think you would you would get the most use out of in your studio? And these two guitars are my fits, and uh, uh -huh. uh, which one would be better? I need your advice in this point. <clears throat> so, mm. the next part would be, you need to come back to my store next week. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm going to get some maple guitars and some oh. mahogany guitars mm. to listen to. Okay. Because that's the third part of the equation. Mm -hmm. Player, yeah. tone woods, mm. which we mm. haven't listened to really okay. right now. But we've listened to body shapes. Mm. We just checked the first one. That's right. Yeah. We only checked the first one. Oh. So the next thing that you would do mm. is you would say, geez, I really like the GT shape and, and the GC shapes. But I wonder... What would a what would a um, maple version of this mm. guitar sound like? Oh, mm, I don't know. That sounds maybe that sounds good. Yeah, maybe that yeah, yeah maybe that would be mm. exciting to your ear. Yeah, or maybe it'd be useful for your studio collection. Okay. And what would uh, a maple guitar mm. version of this sound like? Mm. Which would be a, called a six eleven. Mm. That's a, a GT six eleven. So that's how we organize our mm. lines. That's how we do find your fit. We we ask questions. We ask about mm. the player. We listen to the player, mm. right? And then we we figure out what what we don't tell people what to do. When you we hope I hope that when you come to, came into my Acoustic Times store today that you you learned something because because lots of people you I think what you learned today yeah. is that you were surprised when you played the GC. That's right how the how the how it was almost louder yeah. when you played it with your fingers mm. that's something that people don't always mm. know so find your fit is the body shape the tone woods and the player those mm. three things make up the sound of the mm. guitar and the best way to do this is to a b guitars find the shape you like and then listen to tone woods mm. I love this find your fit yeah. thing. Yeah, we, we should see each other every week. Okay, <laughs> okay every week. So which, but so these two, you, you still don't know which one. If you had to get one today, which one do you think you'd, mm. you'd like? Not sure. This one. This one. Yeah. Uh, you, you have credit card. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's find your fit. Yeah. It's, it's and really and, good. and yeah. it does. It sometimes it takes time and it takes a couple of visits to the store, mm. um, but it, it it makes sense after you start thinking about it. So mm. um, again, it's it's your guitar. Uh, don't let tell somebody tell you what to buy. Um, they might have good recommendations, but it, your mm. ears might be different mm. than that person. So it's really important to listen to your your playing with your own ears. And also, I remember when uh, back in the day when I used to show guitars to people. Sometimes people would say, I don't know, I don't know why, mm. I don't know why, it, but this one, I just, it just feels right, you know, mm. and maybe it's even less expensive, yeah. right? That's really important mm. because there's, there's some sort of, some sort of um, um, thing that's happening that's organic mm. and it's, you're connecting with it. Mm. You know, and and that's important to pay attention to that yeah, also as well. It's not only for the beginners, just no, uh, no, 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 for no. also for the intermediate, right? And, uh, yeah. even for the expert, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm we need Andy. Every week. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I'll see you next week. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> On Acoustic Times. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. It's great to be back here, and we really appreciate what you guys do. And like I said, you're rock stars yeah. uh, at Taylor. So um, anytime I can help. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to come back and do it. And yeah. We'll have more cool guitars to talk about in the future. So, thank you very much. 봄이니까 뭐 해야지. 세일 하겠습니다. 네. 테릴러가 안 하던 짓을 이번에. 그렇죠. 네. 사은 행사를 시작을 한다고 하는데. 이건 저희가 하는 얘기라. 테일러 사는 거. 네. 테일러 직접, 네, 직접 하는 겁니다. 하는 이거 버즈비에서 하는 게 아니에요. 세일을 사실 한다라기보다는 세일에 이어진 사은 행사가 메인입니다. 그렇죠. 네. 어 이게 지금 테일러. 
그전 품목을 음흠. 여러분들이 구매를 하시면은 뭐 거기에 이제 뭐 세일가로 적용이 되어 있기도 하지만 사신 다음에 세일가가 아닌 원래 소비자가를 기준으로 해서 그렇죠. 그 소비자가를 기준으로 해서 50만 원당 한 장의 음목권을 티켓, 드리는 네, 겁니다. 티켓 한 개를 네, 드려요. 그렇죠? 그래서 예를 들어 예를 들어 가지고 300이면 몇 장? 여섯 장이죠. 여섯 그렇죠. 장을 주는 여섯 장을 주는 거예요. 근데 예를 들면 330만 원이야. 몇 장? 여섯 장이죠. 여섯 장이죠. 어, 300, 300, 잠깐 계산할 뻔했어. 350이 돼야 일곱 장이 되는 거야. 그렇죠. 349만 원? 아, 이것도 여섯 장. 아, 아, 그렇습니다. 그렇게 해서 응모권을 이렇게 차등으로 적용을 해 드립니다. 이 응모 대상은 이 기간에 2023년 4월 15일부터 5월 31일까지 딱 날씨 5월 말까지. 좋은 어, 딱 네. 날씨 좋은 요 가정의 날 정말 많이 하라고. 그렇습니다. 한달 반 동안 어, 버즈비를 통해 온 오프라인으로 테일러 기타를 구매한 모든 고객을 대상으로 하고요. 그리고 이 자세한 내용은 또 저희 배너에 이렇게 네. 들어가 있을 테니까 꼭 확인하시면 됩니다. 경품은 1등이 추첨을 통해서 GS 미니를 드려요. 거의 150만 무려, 원. 네, 무려 140만 원짜리 GS 140만 미니 원? EMASSEB 모델들이고요. 2등 상품은 바스툴 이겁니다. 네. 요런 거 스툴. 네, 저희 저희가 앉아 있는 네, 테일러 스툴. 24 바스툴 브라운 색상. 이것도 가격이 꽤 나가요. 20만 원입니다. 네. 네, 하나 드리고요. 3등 상품은 어, 테일러의 기타 스탠드가 들어가는데 2등이랑 3등은 사실 뭐한 명씩이 아니고 이거는 뭐몇 명이 될지 네. 아직까지 확정은 안돼 있는데 뭐좀 여러분들 드릴 것 같습니다. 하지만 1등 상품은 한 명. 네. 네 140만 원짜리 기타고요. 추첨은 저희가 5월 31일까지 받고, 받고. 6월 5일 날 저희가 추첨을 하는 촬영을 하고요. 편집을 해서 6월 9일 날 방송을 해 드리도록 하겠습니다. 자, 여러분들 테일러 기타 많이 사 가시고 선물도 듬뿍 받으시고요. 저는 이제 약간 그런 느낌이 있잖아요. 테일러 기타 중에 또싼 기타가 있잖아. 그렇죠. 물론 이제 싼 기타를 사면은 응모권이 적으니까 뭐 그럴 수는 있지만 예를 들어서 내가 한한 100, 100, 한 120만 원짜리 샀어. 응모권 두 장을 받았어. 그때 두장 중에 하나가 GS 미니가 됐어. 그러면 배보다 배꼽이 더큰 사은행가. 이러면 이제 뭐 아유, 내가... 엄청난 거. 이거 그래서 전 나중에 꼭 물어보고 싶어요 1등 당첨되신 분 얼마짜리 사고 이거 받을 어, 거냐 진짜. 아, 어. 그래서 그 회수율 어. 회수율을 해보는 거죠 뭐 그냥 천만 원짜리 사고 1 4 0을 받았다 그럼 14%의 회수율 천만 원을 주자라고 못 받았어 못 받았다 이러면은 이제 뭐 그건 뭐 어쩔 수 없는 거고 어쩔 수 없는 거고 어. 얼마나 어. 여러분들이 이 어. 1등 상품이 얼마나 운 좋게 그렇죠. 가게 되는지 또 귀추가 주목됩니다 나중에 저희 1등 받으신 분들은 그냥 기타만 받고 가시는 거 없습니다 저희랑 뭘 같이 하셔야 돼요 <웃음> 네. 기대하고 있도록 하겠습니다 자 테일러 기타 많이 구매하시고 선물도 받아 가시고 네, 다음번에 더 좋은 사은 행사로 돌아오도록 하겠습니다 유튜브 구독과 좋아요는 저희가 큰 힘이 됩니다 어쿠스틱 타임스